Hi guys, so I'm here today to talk about Ireland, uh, job opportunities, um, generally with the professional, her name is Choma, and she's bringing us assurance, assured information from Ireland. Choma, please introduce yourself, please. Okay, hello everyone, my yeah. name is Choma Okoye, I'm the Africa Regional Manager for Limerick Institute of Technology, uh -huh. LIT, here in Ireland. And it's a pleasure to be with you all here mm -hmm. and today we're going to talk about studying in Ireland. Okay. So now, Ireland as itself now, I, I keep hearing about Ireland, 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 Ireland and everything. So generally, the whole study location as Ireland, why Ireland? Why Ireland for anybody? Okay, so Ireland is... and agile economy okay. and we have a very strong knowledge based um, uh, enterprise okay. with over 1200 multinational corporations okay. um, you know in, in sectors such as ICT in pharma in medical services and in engineering okay. and there's always a very strong demand for highly skilled graduates both in the short medium and long term um, for, for all of the sectors so mm -hmm. Ireland is a very big um, a very big opportunity for students who are okay. looking to to be experts in their field okay. and to gain and to gain international experience. Okay. Okay. So but I mean is it easy for an a Nigerian student or an African student, a student from uh, the Netherlands or from, from I said the Netherlands. <laughs> I've talked so much about the Netherlands. The student from from Nigeria a student from Ghana, a student from Kenya, I mean uh, Zimbabwe, an African student to integrate into this culture. What do you think about it? Okay, Integration. I would say because having studied in Ireland myself and studied in LIT, I mm. would say um, easy would not be a word I would use okay. because um, I think that when you make a journey abroad, of course. Um, it does take some adjusting to do, especially if it's your first time. Of so course. My first time living in Europe at okay. the time I came to Ireland. Okay. So, uh, it, did, it did take some time, okay. but I think that Ireland as a country makes it easier than most. Okay. Um, because welcoming, being welcoming is one of uh, very strong, um, very strong points. With we, in fact, the education in Ireland uh, tagline is warmest of welcomes. Okay, warmest of welcomes. Yeah, so uh -huh. it's, it's important. Yeah, it's important to the Irish culture that people come in here and feel at home. Okay. Um, and also, um, there is also a very strong um, African community in Ireland. Okay. So both in Dublin and in Limerick. Okay. And um, and, and and in all major cities, um, Limerick being one of those. So when students come here, they would find their kin. They would find people who mm -hmm. you know who, who are similar to themselves. They'll find people from from their own country. They'll find people from the from the region. Okay. Um, both in school and outside of it, there are there are African churches. There are African stores. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and um, and in LIT itself, we have a very strong African African society, mm -hmm. um, and we have students from all over the continent on, mm -hmm. on on this in this society where they kind of help one another settling. And mm -hmm. also, you you study with students from other nationalities, so not just even students from the continent, but students from from India. Okay. From, you know, from from Europe, from other parts of Europe, and things. So mm. it's it's I would say it's a very welcoming society, mm -hmm. um, and I think that students settle in settle in um, well enough. Um, I've never had any student who said to me, mm. "You know what? I don't want to stay anymore because I'm just too lonely." <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so it, it it might take a couple of days and a couple of weeks for students students um, get get on with it. They, the, 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 I mean, like any other place, there's always a culture shock. But at the end of the yeah. day, like you said, the most important thing is that they have somebody else that looks like them or someone that yeah. understands their pain. They even have someone like you to pull yeah. them through yeah. these whole yeah. struggles yeah. at the end of the day. Because uh, yeah. some people can go to other countries and not even have an opportunity. But now when it comes to Ireland, mm. basically, what's like the um, academic requirements to get into Ireland? Okay, so it depends. 
depends on what you want to study and okay. it depends on the institutions. So okay. for us at LIT, if okay. you are looking to study for a master's program, okay. um, you need to have um, at least a, a bachelor's degree in a relevant field okay. and have at least a 2-2. Two -two. Okay, um, a 2-2 two -two so minimum. Would, yeah. And mm -hmm. it will depend on what you want to study as well. So mm -hmm. say you want to study Master of Business Marketing and Management Strategy, mm -hmm. you need to have a degree in a business field. And okay. if you don't have a degree in the business field, you need to have at least, you know, two to five years of relevant work experience okay. to be considered for that master's. Okay. And if you want to do um, an undergraduate program, A-levels would be a preferred qualification. Okay. But we also consider students with YA. Okay. The minimum requirements in all the relevant subjects. Okay. Okay. So, but yeah. do you require anything like IELTS or anything? Okay. So, we, we understand that Nigerian students study in English. Yes. So, getting a test of English is not on at the fore of our requirements. Mm. However, it's a visa requirement. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so have, yeah, this, the person doesn't have a choice. It's actually a visa requirement. When did they start this? The, the test of English? Yeah, as a visa requirement. Has it always been there? Um, it's always been there, but it had not been it had not been strongly enforced until about two years ago. Ah, uh, just two years ago. Yeah. So it it's, it has always been on the list of requirements, but the enforcement only became uh, a big deal about two years ago. Oh. Um. But but what this means is that if a student has all of the documents right now mm -hmm. and don't have their test of English, we will assess them and offer them a place okay. while they go do their test of English in preparation for applying for a visa. For the visa. So yeah. So and and I will, one interesting point is that this year the visa office, the visa authorities have um, approved the online based test Duolingo. Okay, Duolingo instead of IELTS, you have yeah, Duolingo. Yeah, yeah, they they've approved it for this year because of the COVID nineteen um, complications and knowing that many students are finding it difficult to write IELTS. Okay, do you think it's yeah. easier Duolingo than IELTS for students? Um, I, I don't know if it's easier, but I know it's more accessible because you don't need to go because with IELTS you, can't you have to write a center and all these things. Duolingo is yeah, Duolingo is fully online, so okay, so you can yeah. use Duolingo now. I know Duolingo is an app used to even I think they they have German in it too, so yeah, they are quite big. They've got every language. They're quite big. They're quite big. Yeah. Okay, so we'll continue in the next section now. Thank you for this, and uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> 